<laughs> what the hell are you dudes doing, bro? Y'all crazy. Like, do you not know that I'm talking to this woman, I'm getting serious with the woman, she reciprocating back, and we's kissing, bro. And this ain't no pack, man. We kissing. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Fucking Noah Time. It is. We're talking to you guys about ready to love. We're dealing um, with obviously uh, the fact production is moving the maddest right now um, because what they're doing at the moment is they are giving us, uh, I guess, uh, um, you know, great content, but we're not we're not sure where the content's coming from. We're seeing people choose people, and we're not sure what's going on. So yeah, we're talking about the fact that all the men chose Kyra, and I got a little bit of evidence. I watched a bit of KG's live. I'm gonna play it in a sec or two for you guys, well, to get an understanding of why Joel um, decided to call Kyra uh, um, and be ahead of Vern if he had to go home right now. Um, and we'll do a separate video about David and Venetia um, and discussing what happened in their particular. Um, meeting of friends and stuff but yeah I, I think what we're seeing right now really to love listen they're gonna have to really fix up and notch up because them stopping people from going on dates and then not showing us their dates too as well it's gonna it's mashing up the whole storyline and it's like it's not entertaining it's just more of a case of what the frick like where's this coming from there has to be some level of chrono chronolo chronology chron chronology um and some level of evidence of where certain behaviors are coming from because people are just choosing me randomly it doesn't actually make the show any more exciting it like i, I know maybe maybe own don't know this it doesn't make it more exciting it just makes us be more confused okay um i think they did a better i think they, i think they give us a better job last season in terms of the flow this season it seems as if like you know what i i wish we have one whole season where they're not stopping people dating don't stop them dating let them choose to know let's video those things you know what i'm saying like let's video those moments but stopping people from dating it's like uh and that's what makes it a game show but i guess that's how they make their money um it's a game show at the end of the day it's not a dating show it's not here for love it's not it's not it's not ready to love because you're forcing people to go on certain dates and blocking others that means it's not ready to love it's ready to game um and so you know i understand this is a game show um you know this is an entertainment piece so you've got to make your buck and you've got to make your money but i'm not uh, you know what i mean like let's keep our hands up real it's not a, it's not a real dating show because it's a game show that has dating aspects within um but let's go anywhere but if you're new to the channel like share subscribe click on the bell button for notification to up lows and for those of you who are returnees you got the minerals you got the minerals listen you really know what it is baby stay hydrated you understand listen because the streets are hot the streets are hot mm. let's get into the review let's get into the review i'm gonna play a little clip from kg's live the other night where he speaks a little bit about this situation so strap up strap in and let's have a little bit of a conversation something that you all didn't see or hear uh Joel say last night now why are you all confused as to that what you all don't know is that there were some dates that were had um that weren't caught on camera you know some folks were creating their own um were having their own dates on the side uh, because they we're asking production. This is way too much light. They were, um, I think that's a little better. They were asking, um, they were asking for dates for certain people and what wasn't getting what they were asking for. And so they were, uh, making up their own dates. And so, you know, Joel and Kyra went out a while. I mean, a, a few times, like people's doing that. So that's where the confusion came from. There's some dates that weren't aired. Um, like I didn't tell y'all, you know, they didn't show my date with Stacy. They didn't show my date with Tressa. Uh, they haven't shown my date with um, Alexis. Um, Amber and I had a bunch of dates. I think Amber and I had about, I don't know, five, six dates. Uh, you saw the date with Chrysanthia. So, yeah, so dates were being had that haven't been shown. So I know that the audience is a little confused as to, you know, why is everybody 
picking Kyra all of a sudden, but I remember that, uh, I remember that gentleman's lounge though, because that was, that was one of the ones. Cause when we were talking chrysanthemum, like, and let me just pause it there before he goes a bit further. Because he's going to talk about chrysanthemum. Um, obviously, all the me- <laughs> was it David Joel, um, uh, AJ, Jason. Right now, if they were to go home, they said they would go with Kyra. So Kyra's in a very strong position. But I think I kind of said this. You know, Kyra does have, you know, that level of composure, um, and that she wants to be chosen. She wants that. She wants the men. Not necessarily. I, I would. I would say fight, but not fight over, her, but to fight for her. Um, and that's the kind of woman that she, for me, what I'm looking observant is she is. Um, obviously, what we saw was her kind of affections for Jason and AJ. And what we saw was obviously a really strong uh, move by Jason as well. We'll break that down in another video um, where he k- ended up kissing Kyra as well. But even watching that date, I said, mm, she likes Jason, but she knew what her heart is with AJ. And AJ is the number one pick um, watching that. But what's interesting is that, that what we as an audience were confused, majorly confused as to why the sudden flip especially for David and Joel. David and Joel both had Liz and Venetia at the top of their list, it seemed, right? From the way that the way the edits had showed. We found out on this episode that David has been more, it's been inconsistent with his movements with Liz. Then we found out with, with Joel that he feels that Venetia is, a, is controlling or she's too uh, uh, um, clingy and that makes it controlling that she wants to be able to, to, to force her territory upon him, right? Um, and so now it's a bit like, oh, okay, so suddenly now, because we never got this piece of information beforehand, it feels like a complete 360 switch. But it's not. It's been gradual. It's been something I've been thinking about because actually they've been having dates behind the scenes. They've been having, you know, other prospects behind the scenes, which have not been shown on camera. Now, we knew this from first season, right? We knew this from second season, especially when we started interviewing them. We knew that was happening. But what was really interesting is that they, that we saw we found out in season three is how production stop dates. Now, if you're going to stop dates or not show dates, then when you decide to show us this piece, it's confusion. Somebody grab a hold of the editor and say, "Hey, bro, bring some chronology to this thing. Bring some evidence to this thing. Don't give us and dump us one minute we're we're nowhere Lena is going, and next minute we jump into the next thing. It may look like entertainment, but it's not entertainment. It's not entertaining. We're just confused." Do you feel what I'm saying, right? And the clarity comes when these people come out and give interviews and say, actually, that's production. You know what I mean? Like, it's mad confusing. I get it. They want to keep certain pieces in. I feel for you. But just give us a little bit of a hint of an evidence. We never knew that the guys had Kyra in their, in their, in their picks. We, I'm sure they, they might have fancied or whatever, but we didn't know how serious they were about having Kyra in their picks. You know what I mean? In their top picks. To the fact that they would leave with Kyra alone. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, to poor old Jason's probably thinking to himself, all the girls are gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the girls are going to be, uh, you know, be le- he's going to be left with. Let's watch a bit more um, KJ's thing, what he says here. This is me getting upset because there was a time when uh, Ron, AJ, uh, who was it? Ron, AJ, maybe, maybe it might have been Jason. When I was sharing about my experience with Chrysanthemum and the fellas, they kept interrupting me and like trying to talk over me when I was talking about my experience because they didn't have the same experience. And, and there was a point where I got a little irritated and this is me telling them like, hold on, hold on, wait a minute now. Let me talk and get out, you know, my shit. Y'all, y'all trying to talk over me, like, hold, hold on. And so the whole thing, you know, with Chrysanthemum, one of the things that somebody said on Twitter, <laughs> So there was that was him kind of going on about the chrysanthemum situation in the in the boys' room and him not having a voice. I want to play a little bit more of the clip from Ready to Love and just kind of just have um, a little bit more of a conversation around that. Ron, I'm gonna go with Alexis. Alexis, mm. Chris. Oh, that's easy. Amber. Okay. Last but not least, Chase. Kyra. Now we've got four men vying for the same position. It's going to be a battle and it's going to be a stretch. Now, Jason's put a lot of legwork in um, and is seemingly in the running. He's kissed Kyra now as well. 
and you know has that it was a really good day as well he set things up beautifully and if anything you know you'd think that Kyra would choose Jason but the truth of the matter is I don't think she will and the reason why is about mentality I just don't feel like he has the mentality to match Kyra I think her fly is amazing. I think her, her energy is correct. I think his energy is correct. I think they both mix and blend, but I just don't think he has that enough brawn and enough boundary strength to, 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 to show Kyra he's mad enough, right? Because in their date, and I don't want to go too deep because I will do a separate video. In the date, you know, she mentioned about wanting a man to lead and, you know, didn't want to wear the pants. And I feel like her, her her energy is a little bit dominant and it will override Jason. Like we just saw him crying about having to, about people saying good things about him. Now I'm not trying to cuss him as a man. I'm merely stating, I don't know if that sensitivity will work with, um, will work with Kyra in the long run. That's why she likes people like Jason. I just don't know if it will work in the long run. Again, nothing wrong with crying. It's just that of what it signals to the other party, right? Because he was crying over the fact he got complimented. And I hear that. But do that in your own personal space. If you now do that in the open, I don't know how many women are comfortable seeing that and going, yeah, great. Amazing. I want him. Do you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with men crying, but the, the issue was what he was crying over. But there's obviously, like I said, there are several men that are vying for the position of Kyra in this particular show. I really wish that the, the, the own production team really do get a hold of the editing and edit this well so we see a nice chronology because at the moment it's a mad confusion to suddenly see all the men change. What's interesting is the fact that David and Joel changed and their strongest picks were Liz and, and Venetia throughout the whole show. And they done and doing that flip that they've done just goes to show us how fickle this dating game is. You can be at the top one minute and at the bottom the next. You could be at the top one minute, at the bottom, at the next. And I think a lot of us were shocked, especially by David, since Liz was like, literally at the ball, he was trying to make sure that we are pretty much together. That's what I was, you know, that's what I was saying in my review about him when I said about the ball situation. I said, him saying that, oh, you know, we're pretty much together, you're kind of locking that in. And if you don't decide then to lock it in, then it, you're causing trouble because it's like you've then caused her to think that you're going to be the one and you're not the one. Which is why these grand statements, we don't need them. Because it causes trouble. You can compliment and say she looks good, she looks amazing tonight, you know. But why do you have to add the fact that, you know, pretty much, you know, I want everyone to know that we're together. Joke or no joke. Do you know what I mean? You sold her a dream, in a sense. Um, you know, jo Joel too now suddenly revealing information that Venetia's controlling. It's it's mad. It's mad. Um, I, I want to break that down in a separate video, but... It's, 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 I guess it's scary to watch, isn't it? If you're, if you're a person who's a girl, I can imagine how scary it'd be that a guy who was into you from the very beginning. That's what, that's what, um, even, um, KG was saying. A guy that's into you in the very beginning and then suddenly you want Kyra? Oh, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it feels odd. It feels like it's been a complete switch. It feels like it's been quick turnaround. And that's what the issue that I think uh, a lot of people are feeling, um, some animosity towards the men at the season. Listen, we're going to have a live tonight. We're going to have a live tonight. I hope you guys join us at, you know, um, UK time, 2 a.m., 8 p.m. CST time. If you're around, uh, we're going to have a live. We're going to be talking about Ready to Love. I have a feeling my panelists are going to come strong because they got strong sentiments about what happened on the show. But listen, Kyra, shout out to Kyra. She's brought the house down, showed the boys what time it is, and all the men seem to want her. It is what it is. That's the game, baby. Like I said, this show is not a show for actual dating. It's a game show. And if you don't know how to play the game, you're going to lose. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked, stay loaded. Watch out for our other reviews when we talk about the relationships. Appreciate you guys. More love.